Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see from the title, you pay a lot of money to send your kid to a school, and guess what? They bully him, and then suddenly he's gone. And you have no idea what the heck is happening. All you know is they accuse you from it, but you don't even know it is false. And you don't even know they forgave him. Jack Reed, 17, attended the Lawrenceville School between Trenton and Princeton with a tuition of 76,000 a year. Okay, that's a lot. He died on April 30, 2022, right after COVID, I believe. But in the 12 months leading up to his death, he had become a victim of vicious bullying campaign that consisted of a cruel and malicious rumor that labeled him the campus ninja. Wow. The rumor were made up to, by, by, by fellow students called him out and were said to Jack both in person and posted anonymously online there by spreading the story beyond the campus walls. Yes, that's the problem of bullying. You go home, you're not chilling, they can find you everything, everything is online. During a secret Santa gift exchange among the classmates, Jack was giving a gangster whistle, gangster whistle, you know the word I'm replacing, together with a book about how to make friends because they knew they got this boy cornered. He's a, just a white little kid. Oh man, we're gonna take advantage of him. Because hey, I'm sure he has the money for mama or whatever. Always create the assumption that everything is okay. And then when he's gone, oh, I remember I was a good friend of him. He was a nice guy. I, I sympathize with him. I don't know why nobody did something. Yeah, you're surrounded by a bunch of grangy people and I I'm disgusted by this. Although the school staff were made aware of the bullying and did nothing about it, the school now admit to make an extraordinary admission of failure on the anniversary of Jack's death. Why? That's like having a birthday for me when I'm gone, when you never celebrated all my other birthdays, you're gonna be the next person we're gonna do our best. I'm like, bruh. I don't need you to celebrate something to remind me how you feel because all the school is gonna get is, oh, look how much I care about you. Come with an intuition. Oh, a tuition, my bad. There were steps that the school should, in hindsight, have taken, but did not. Why not? Believe all women again? Most damning of all is the fact that the school did not make public a private statement. Most damning of all is the fact that the school did not make public or private statement that it had in fact investigated the ninja action and found the rumors about Jack and the entire story to be completely untrue. Neither Jack nor his parents were ever told that he had been exonerated over the claims. Wow. Did you make it publicly? No, let go. Did you create a private community so everybody is going to tell the woman you did something wrong? We're going to have an eye on you, Jack. You're forgiven. And whenever we see people bully you, we will protect you like the man that you were because you're a honorable man. No, we will not go against that ideology. Amen. Even my wife, which was a raging feminist back in the day, but I saw a quality in her that I really liked. With time, she started realizing, I fear for my sons. I'm like, honey, I've been telling you this all day. The school officials have admitted that they were aware of the bullying, but fell short in their obligation to protect them because they're obligated to protect. In a frank, honest, and heart-wrenching admission, the school, wow, you really think I'm going to give you a little sympathy, which ranks among the nation's top boarding school that needs a lot of money, tuition believe Jack's death could have been prevented and stated stated how there's also were circumstances in which the involvement of an adult would have made a difference now look at that school are we going to blame the parents or are we going to blame the school which has the schools more the parents that arrive at work a little tired that sometimes eat at the dinner table if they have the time in a two house pattern by the beam by the boom or maybe you have the kid more than eight hours and something. They live on a freaking campus. <laughs> hey, there's something that has to be done. And you cannot always look at the man. You can't. You can't put the responsibility of people playing Minesweeper. You're walking on thin ice. And when you accidentally fell through, oh, oh. Well, we're not going to tell you we were forgiven you, but we will investigate. And look at this here. They have a service memory because it seems that he passed away maybe with a Bible in his pocket or whatever. I'm like, bruh, I don't need to care if he's Muslim, Christian or an atheist. You're a human being. 
okay? Can we not treat people with a little more respect? Don't show me, hey, we showed the video, we helped them to remember Jack at our school that you did nothing. I don't need that. As we seek to improve as a community, we have examined our role and take responsibility for what we could have done differently. Lawrenceville top priority is the physical, social and emotional health, safety and well-being of our students. You can just say female. I would even believe you more because you want to promote it. But don't stay student. I, I find it very hypocritical. We recognize that in Jack's case, for a man, we fell tragically short of these expectations. Yes, just say not just Jack. Anybody that's labeled that you would have not, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do anything. We just found out in 2022. No, we found it in 2023. It happened in 2022. Jack was a universal regarded as an extremely kind and good hearted young man with an unwavering sense of social and civic responsibility and a bright future. Not worth telling the truth when we have forgiven him though. But we continue to mourn his loss. <laughs> what? I don't care as a parent. The agreement requires the school with the host of 330 students to undertake a series of corrective actions, including creating a new dean's position that will focus on mental health issues with the goal of becoming a model for the anti-bullying and a student mental health. With all due respect, I don't care about the wound that you've created and you keep telling me we got band-aids, 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 ointments, ointments. No. Prevent the cut. The person that got cut. Shame the person. Shirt the person for weapon of mass destruction. Where is that? If you falsely accuse somebody knowing the consequence that it has for a person, then even if he goes to prison, hey, you need to pay. Even if you're forgiven. Look at the side effect. Look at the side effect. And you forgave him and, and the parents don't even know. They don't know. And now suddenly the parents find out he has been forgiven. You didn't give them, you didn't give them a chance. They lost. And now they find out they won. And what about the person that faci faci facilitated this whole situation? Nada. Zippo. I, I cannot see it in any way more than we didn't want to admit our mistake because it ideology wise, it looks bad on us. We need to protect women. Hey, brah, it, it, it makes no sense. It really makes no sense. It, it's gone so far that I see a lot more ladies be like, hey, man, I, I think we went to four. But you cannot decide. I want to be sure that all men fear for the lies because you're labeling so many. And by that, usually people that are so innocent, that are young, impressionable, you treat them, tell them, treat woman like a queen and everything. And now you have a whole school privately going after this kid. And when the kid is right, you don't tell him. 